my name is James Summers. I lived up on the north side of Low Island. My parents brought uh, me here as a baby along with my brother in uh, about 1928. And we've been uh, through the whole school system starting at uh, Paul Revere School and then up to the uh, grade school and finally the high school and graduated from Blue Island Community High School in uh, 1945. And uh, speaking about some of the occasions of uh, things here within the school uh, system, uh, remembering uh, the various schools that were in the system, and I think the most, uh, the highlight of the school system is the fact that uh, uh, General of the Army, uh, uh, Dwight D. Eisenhower, President of the United States, uh, the reason that uh, the school was named, the high school was named after President Eisenhower was because of the fact that uh, uh, Harold Richards, who was the superintendent of schools here and was a colonel in the army, and it was because of his uh, association with uh, General Eisenhower that the school was named after him and he was here to dedicate the high school. The uh, high school system, or the school systems, I remember the fact that uh, uh, Seymour uh, was one building and Whittier was another building. And the combined building in between the two buildings was the Seymour Whittier Gym uh, where even the high school started playing uh, basketball in that uh, gymnasium. It was quite a, uh, a uh, efficient place to, uh, to see and to watch the games from there. And uh, sorry to see that the gymnasium and part of the school system then was broken down. Uh, remembering the churches within the community uh, here, uh, we were a member, my wife and I had no real church association in 1950, but uh, here at uh, Grace Methodist Church was the church we were, were married in, and that was a, came as a combination of the German Methodist Church, which was on Vermont Street, and then the uh, English Church, which was up on uh, Western Avenue, uh, right there at the corner of uh, Western and 127th Street, where they, they combined then, and that was the outgrowth of it, was the Grace Methodist Church. And uh, it was at the Grace Methodist Church, uh, we sustained a $500,000 fire, uh, where the whole church was gutted, and uh, the church was rebuilt and constructed exactly inside as it was before. The only upgrading that had to be done was that the fire alarm system within the building had to be installed. All the doors in the, uh, from building rooms that were classrooms had to have doors that entered out and the stairwells which were in the building, both in the front and the back, had to be uh, uh, replaced with uh, a enclosed stairway system and uh, the church has had a mighty growth and uh, enlargement. Uh, we, my wife and I, uh, retired from here in uh, 1991 and we moved from uh, St. George, Utah uh, following our retirement and moving out uh, west into the area called the High Desert. We're uh, two miles from the border going into Arizona and we're 120 miles north of Las Vegas. My wife uh, was a fisher before her, uh, we were married and her cousin uh, uh, Janet Fisher was uh, uh, also, uh, the two of them went to school. A lot of the uh, friends that's from school, from their school days, thought that they were sisters. But uh, I married Laverne in 1950 and uh, at the Grace Methodist Church and uh, Janet married uh, uh, a Angelo Guerrero at St. Donatus uh, Church and uh, we've uh, been lifelong friends with, uh, with uh, Janet and her husband until he passed away some 30 years ago and uh, we've had uh, great uh, great friendships between uh, our, my wife and, and the Italian uh, section of town here and uh, what went on in St. Donatus and what went on in Blue Island. Uh, I'm sure all of you folks that uh, are observing this will uh, know the Beggar's Pizza, which is in town, uh, which is the sons of uh, Angelo Guerrero and Janet, 
that they are the ones that uh, have uh, increased this organization to quite a, a famous pizza supply and uh, uh, with their uh, wares uh, through the south side of Blue Island and the surrounding communities here on the south side. They're currently anticipating opening up a new uh, pizza restaurant uh, in downtown Chicago uh, within the next month. I think this is going to be their eighth uh, store that they've, they've gleaned uh, in their business association within the community.